going to be a super, super hot day today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Monday. Hope you guys are having a fine day as I begin this. And it's supposed to be 105 degrees today. Hence the fact I got on the hat and also because of the fact that I need a haircut. But yeah, it's definitely going to be a hot and sweaty day today and a lot of things going on on this Monday morning. I'm going to be getting rabbit. Rabbit's going to be joining me and we're going to be going to cut grass. At the same time that we're cutting grass, I'm going to have Shannon's brother Richard over here helping me get some work done at this house and we're almost done with everything that we needed to get done here. Let's go ahead and look at the guest bathroom. Finally got that light up back there and you can't tell but Oh, well, there's some paint that needs to be done back there. <sighs> My patch job doesn't look too horrible, but there's that. Shannon's brother Richard did that backsplash right there. That came out looking really good, but it needs to be grouted. That's what he's going to be working on today. And a whole bunch of trash up here that needs to be taken down into the dump. Rabbit and I are probably going to be making a trip to the dump. And over the weekend... This was my project here. New light, need to mud that up and get those holes taken away. You guys should have seen the wallpaper that was in here. It was palm trees and now, well, it's being painted. I did the ceiling twice. I did the walls once. Don't worry about those cut lines right there. That second coat of wall paint is going to cover up those mistakes. There's no mistakes. Just happy accidents. Also painting these cabinets down here because, uh, well, white's going to look better, I guess. So there's that. Whole bunch of work that we've been doing at this house, and it has been just busy. So Shannon's brother Richard's about to be here. I'm going to get him squared away so that he can help me out, and I'll be going to pick up Rabbit, and we'll be cutting grass. And I might be filming every single blade of grass we cut in this 105 degree heat with 115 degree heat index. Hopefully, we're gonna have plenty of water out here. Uh, it's definitely dangerous conditions to be doing this grass. You're probably wondering, Joe, why today? Well, today's the only day that we got. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, and the next time you see me, we'll be picking up Rabbit and seeing how he's been. Enough with the head nodding. I think we got it, Joe. All right, let's get this 105 degree day underway. What you think about that monsoon last night, man? Good we, morning. We needed the rain. Oh my God, did we? Yes, we did. We needed the rain. We needed the rain extremely bad. Hey, man, good morning. Good morning to you, my brother. You said I'm on my way to come get you, and you were here. Yeah, I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to get as early of a start on this as we can, man. Okay. So look, man, I don't know if, you, uh, if you've ever done this before or not, but... Froze the water? Frozen ice cube, dude. Yeah, that right there keep you cool a good little bit of the day anyway. Oh, they're trying to work on their dump trailer right there. Let me make sure I don't hit nobody. Where's this, you know? He didn't want to wave to you, Rabbit. Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes people are like that. You know, it's kind of early for them guys, I guess. You know? Yeah. Hey, so what's been going on with you, man? So, you know, um, I've, uh, I've got a little fishing in the last couple of days. So You caught anything? No, uh, I'm, I'm fishing right over here in this little creek over here. Right. And uh, it's mostly... That's so small eel. I mean, you know, if you were striper fishing, eel was a perfect thing to catch. You know, but I'm catfishing. And, uh, not really a whole lot of selection in there. Uh -huh. A couple of little small ones, not too bad. Nothing, nothing pan size, nothing really edible, you know. So, um, but, you know, fishing, uh, I'm trying to get all my paperwork done. I've been talking to the people, you know, uh, through the CSB. Trying to get your crazy check. Service board, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to get my crazy check. Back, you know. Well, so. I appreciate you today, Rabbit. Today's going to be a super hot day. I don't think we could have picked a, a worse day to go do this, but it's the only day that we got. So, well, I'm going to tell you like this here, brother. Me personally, I know I'm going to be okay. You know, I'm, uh, I've weathered through worse. I like to hear it, man. I'm sure you have to, but uh, you know, my main concern, Joe, is, is making sure that you're okay. Cause it's gonna be hot, nice and hot out there, you know. And, uh, I, I, 
get out and move around a lot in this heat. You don't, you know, you don't, you don't really do a whole lot in heat too much. I mean, good lord, rabbit. Sometimes you do. I'm sure. But I've been working my butt off for the last couple of days. And, and I know you have, Joe. And I know you have. But it takes a lot of time. You know, it takes a lot of adjustment time to get used to the heat. Yeah, it does. You know, like I said, my main concern is you, brother. Oh, well, thank you, man. My main concern is you. So we're going to get a cooler, have some ice in it, and make sure we got some cold drinks. All right. And we're going to knock this damn thing out, man. Well, you know, I'm thinking, like, you know, we were speaking on earlier on uh, maybe being able to do all three of them today. <sighs> and I'm going to be honest with you, man. I, you know, I, I honestly don't see no reason why we can't. Well, that 105 degrees is going to tell us different in a little while, but... We'll see how it goes, man. It's good to see you on this Monday morning, Rabbit. Thank you for your help. Uh, you were speaking about fishing just a little bit ago. One thing to mention real quick in relation to that, I've been looking at some storage units. Okay. Um, and there's been some fishing poles in a couple of them. Oh, my God. I know where I need to be at. But no. we'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and move on to what you guys are really here for them damn storage units folks there are a few here's the one that i really wanted it's already at 310 dollars, and it's still got 10 well, nine days it's a bunch of tools in here i really just want it for that 16 foot extension ladder right there and that grout i believe that's what that probably is what is that shit right there i can't read it and that casting couch $310 there's also a lot of power tools in this unit too we got a table saw we got a uh, tile cutter, I see that right there. Uh, a wet saw. Ooh, a wet saw. And that husky workbench. Man, a lot of good shit in this unit. Don't care what the price is on this. I'm buying it. Billy Bob says no baseball cards. Well, I'm glad that you brought up the baseball cards because let's go look at that unit. It's still available. I was looking at it prior to this. Two days left, 180 180 is what they got it for right now. Is there a Babe Ruth in that mother? There they go right there. Them, them beat them baseball cards. I was actually looking for where can I sell baseball cards already. And then I thought to myself, you know, are we really going to find a Mickey Mantle in there? Are we going to find a, a, a Michael Jordan rookie card? Like, I don't, I don't know. But what if we did, though? We got to find the right storage unit. If the right one comes up, we might be going digging through another unit in the near future no units are going until wednesday so we got a couple of days until then oh cool okay so you know um i, mean, I really didn't mind the last storage you know we dug through i mean it wasn't too bad it's kind of nasty you know you know. you know i can't find the footage from that really yeah so i took rabbit to do the the wrap up of the stripper storage unit and there was a video from it i found like six dollars in cash I tried to throw a couple of nasty pairs of drawers on Rabbit. Oh my God, that was so disgusting, Joe. You're terrible, man. And I can't find the damn footage now. So, there's a video that, I, what I fear is that I accidentally deleted the footage. Sometimes I'm trying to clean up memory cards, and I think that I've got all that footage loaded up, and I'm pretty sure I deleted it by accident. But, let's go get loaded up, head over to this property. The grass is probably going to be every, every bit of a foot tall. And let's go get her ass knocked out. You ready? Yes, I am ready. Well, let's get it. Damn it. So we just got back to the house and we were getting ready. Hold on, Rabbit, hold on. We were getting ready to get the trailer loaded up and take a look at my truck. My damn muffler fell off. What's going on? That thing rusted oh, right off. It broke, broke off, it rusted off right here. So look, give me a piece of wire rock, Joe. I'm gonna wire it up just as a temporary fix. To hold it until you can get it fixed. Why don't you just tear it off? Because, I mean, it's rusted it to might. shit. Yeah, well, I mean, we can. Just take it off. Damn, man, my damn muffler. Yeah, there you have it. Wow. Ain't that something. Hey, you know what, man? I'm going to tell you something, brother. That guy started, man, from what I'm seeing, every, man, it's like every other week or so, man, there's something else wrong with this truck, dude. Yeah. Well... Okay, cool deal. We fixed the muffler. Let's get loaded up and go cut some damn grass. We're going to need to get a GoFundMe together for Joe's new muffler. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, be easy. I need that. Got to get that put back on eventually. All right, just getting over to the property, and it is tall. 
<laughs> Rabbit said it wasn't going to be that tall. It's not too bad, man. I mean, the back's probably a little bit worse, you know, but. What do you think? We got about a foot of grass? Uh, every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> foot of grass, 105 degree heat. Mm -hmm. and, Only, and what? And, and motivation. Yeah. Well, we're here at 8.54. We're a couple of minutes early. We're going to start by 9. <sighs> Let's get it done, folks. Took us three hours and 45 minutes the last time. It hasn't even rained that much. I can't believe this grass is this tall. <sighs> three hours and 45 minutes. Let's get it. Oh my goodness, it is hot today. All right, 12 19 is what time we were rolling up out of there. Well, I'm gonna tell you what, on the hottest day of the year, and some of the tallest grass we've cut yet. Oh, yeah. You set another record. You're a beast, John. I'll tell you what, man, I just don't know how you're doing here. Three hours and 19 minutes, and it is all thanks to Rabbit. Rabbit pushed, push mode. Probably about an acre by himself. That's three and a half acres that we're cutting right there. Kind of, it feels like we're out there cutting a damn golf course, <laughs> don't it? <laughs> that grass don't yeah, never stop. Right, uh, that grass is never ending. Yeah, boy, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, the restaurant's pasta. What's the olive garden pasta? Never ending. Well, one thing about it, we might want to start consider cutting that grass every ten days, because, like Rabbit said, that was the tallest that we've ever cut it, and everything was struggling i had to go over certain spots twice with the zero turn but i probably need to sharpen them blades got the job done richard is over at the flip house right now talking about that can of texture that i got ain't matching up so he's got to go get some other stuff uh, what are the three different types though you could put down and neither one of them matching up yeah I've heard mixed results about the, the can texture, so okay. we're going to, we got a lot more stuff we got to do, a couple of trips to the dump, probably more grass that needs to get cut, but I don't know if we're going to get to that today, because again, it's 105. If you feel every bit of it too while you're out there, that heat just comes in waves and kind of makes you feel like you're sitting in a microwave. Rabbit, your thoughts on the heat? I'm, no, it don't bother me much, yo. I'm in the best shape I've ever been in my life, brother. And I feel great. Well, shout out to Rabbit. It's because of him that we got out of there as quickly as we did. That job is done. Now let's see what else this day is going to bring us. All right, over at the Flip House. And shout out to Richard, who said that the orange peel, no? No, no, that's, it does not. Orange peel did not work. So he went and got the knockdown. Man, this stuff looks like it's a mess, right? And uh, let's see what he did. Bing! I think that looks really, really good, Richard. Hey Richard, what, what was that comment that you made about the, uh, the uh, patch job? Joe wanted me to make sure I said this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut that out either. The patch job prior to the knockdown texture actually looks really sharp. Done by Joe himself. We're Thank all, you. We're all very proud. Joe's very proud. <laughs> very proud. I'm starting the drywall and finishing business, y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. here. Cool deal, look at this. These patches like they never even took place. Boy, Joe, you do it. You do, you do some good work, don't you, boy? You do some damn fine work, Joe. I tell you the truth, you do. You did a great job. Bro. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Cool deal. So special shout out to Richard. Richard is helping us out really much. Oh yeah. That's Oh yeah. That's that looks horrible. Yeah. <laughs> all, we need knockdown. all right, so we'll go get another can of knockdown. Yes, sir. Cool deal. It's still gonna be bowed just a little bit. That's all right. Don't have but, cool dude. Do, do you want to go get it, Richard? Okay, right Appreciate it, man. All right, we got some grass to cut over here because my young, my young entrepreneur landscaper, he ain't got a weed whacker and he's got a lot of excuses also. So he came and he cut my grass again just recently and he didn't cut the front ditch, he didn't weed eat nothing, so we got all the landscape stuff. We're gonna cut all of this. I had to fire the 12 year old and I feel bad about that. But 
You know, I paid him forty dollars to cut the grass the first time, and he did a, uh, an okay job. He, he didn't do a bad job. He doesn't he doesn't have a weed eater. You know, I could do that Mr. Beast type shit and buy him a, uh, buy him a weed eater. The, the weed eater would be bigger than him. Forget that I mentioned that nicety. I wasn't even tripping on the fact that he didn't have a weed eater and he didn't weed eat, you know, 15% of the of the yard. And and the flip house has a very small yard. So the first time I gave him 40 bucks, he cut the grass, he didn't weed eat, no big deal, whatever. I wasn't even thinking about it. The second time, it was Saturday. Uh, what Saturday was it? It had to be this past Saturday. I was busy as f- kid called me. He was like, hey, I'm going to cut your grass. And I said, okay, cool. I won't be there till Monday to pay you uh, last weekend. Not this past weekend, but last weekend. So he calls me to cut the grass. I said, yeah, sure. Uh, you can cut it. I-, I won't be there till Monday to pay you, but I will pay you. So he cuts it. Man, tell me why I go over to the flip house and he ain't even cut the ditch line. See, now he's only cut the yard twice. The first time he didn't weed eat. The second time he didn't weed eat. And now he didn't cut the ditch line. So he comes over there and uh, I said, yo, why didn't you cut the ditch? You know what this little young man said to me? This little young man said to me, he said, yo, that is government property right now. You ain't got to cut that. They got to cut that. I said, you 12 years old and you lying like that. See, I'm giving you the gold right now. I got to save this for the video. Some bitch, you fight. Look, I know you 12 and you about to learn a hard lesson right now. You are so fired. Don't you never come back here with your lawnmower. I'd have bought you a weed eater. But you just hit me with that. Government property, yeah, 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 yeah. That's government property right there. You ain't got to cut. They got to cut. Who got to cut that? Who got to cut that? Your f- foot don't fit no limb. You 12. I gave him $20. Because that's what he told me he was going to charge me originally. He weren't worth no $40. Spent that shit on some Fortnite skins is what he did. All right, leaving from the flip house, and what a crazy, can I put that window up for a second, Ryan? Crazy, Richard is getting a lot of stuff done over there, really just a little bit of stuff left that we had to get done, but when we were leaving, I met the homeowner from directly across the street where the eviction took place at, and got to talking with him, I, I cold called him, and just said, hey, what are, you, what are you planning on doing with that house? And he let me come in and look at it, and he he wants to sell it. This guy's got a whole boatload of properties, and he says that he wants to sell it. He's doing some work in the place right now. I mean, really, what he's doing is just throwing some paint on the walls. But it's crazy because that house is damn near identical to the house we got. Boy. Um, it's in a little bit better shape, though. A little bit. Yeah, kind of, sort of, but and 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 it's also sitting on three lots of property. Yeah, that's a big plus. So how much you think he wants for that? It's a two bedroom, one bath. How much is he asking? I'm gonna say um, eighty five. Pretty close, rabbit. Pretty damn close. He said he wanted seventy five after he got done doing the repairs. He said if I came and got it right now, he wants sixty eight. And. He's a broker. He's a real estate broker. So there's not a whole bunch of, I guess, trying to uh, kick the tires with that guy. But I was definitely checking out the floors in there. They got some soft spots in the floors. Same exact wood floors that we had. Same archway. That place has got a kitchen where our, ours didn't. And it feels like it's just a little bit bigger than the property that we got. And it's got HVAC in it. He wants $68,000 for it. Well, and it wouldn't be a whole hell of a lot of work to it. 68 grand and not a lot of work. You could probably put it on the market for 110, maybe. And you might make a nice profit off of it. Yeah, we need some vinyl siding for sure. Something's got to be done with them floors. Update the bathroom, update the kitchen. Uh, I mean, the rooms are the exact same. The bathroom is a little bit better than the bathroom that we had, but not by much. I mean, the rooms, I can't emphasize this enough. They are exactly the same. So, pretty crazy. Joe out here wheeling and dealing on the real estate. We're about to start a real estate business. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. I'm scared of that one. <laughs> I'm going to go show my wife and see what she has to say about this. And maybe we just found our next flip house. Boy. And it's right across the street from the one that we've got now. I quit. What? 
I'm done. Oh, Rabbit, we're just getting started. Oh, hell no. No, no, no. Joe, have you learned anything? Yeah. I did. Have you learned enough to know to hire all professionals to do your work? <laughs> you better bet it. Rabbit, jump out, <laughs> jump out this moving car right now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. We're going to go back to the house. We're going to unload all of the landscape and stuff. We're going to load up a bunch of trash. And then, who knows? Couldn't have put it better myself. We got major stuff to take to the dump tomorrow. Good. Well, your trail off. Load both of them up. Oh, my goodness. What do you think? God, they're sweltering here. Oh, oh. Oh, my God. And the heat. And wow. the heat, too. All right, it is 4.30 in the afternoon, video's up, and we're leaving from my house again. We have been over here painting and painting. Painted a whole bathroom, painted all the cabinets in that bathroom, and this guy. Again, what's going on, everybody? Rabbit, we done cut that grass. Yeah. We done cut the golf course. Cut the golf course. Then we went and cut the flip house. Till the weed eater ran out of string. Richard got a bunch of stuff done over there. Then we came back over here. Thought we were gonna be loading up trash. Right. And we, we were loading we were loading up paintbrushes. We were loading up paintbrushes. But we did a fine job. I thank God. Uh, I truly think that you've done a wonderful job today, Joe. Uh, and I truly commend you on all the great work that you've done. I don't know why you always look like you're sitting in the witness protection over there, but I can't never get the lighting right. Man, I want to give a special shout out to Rabbit. Rabbit busted his ass today. I busted my ass today. We busted ass in 105 degree heat. I checked the, I checked the forecast just a little while ago. It was 99 degrees. So, it's definitely been a hot one, man. And for all you fans out there, whether you like me or not, it's okay. I have a statement coming to the fan page. Um, well, not everybody's a part of the fan page, Rabbit. Elaborate on that a little bit, because you were talking to me about it while we were cutting grass. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed um, in some of the comments that I've read. Uh, everybody thinks you're getting high. In the last video, yeah, everybody seems to think I'm getting high when I'm actually in the best shape I've ever been in in my life. But, you know, it's okay. It is what it is. I'm, I'm going to make a statement on it. I'm going to post a statement on the fan page. Uh, regarding that and um, I hope I don't offend anybody well it is what it is I mean we could be piss testing every single day but I said you know what who the hell am I to be drug testing I'll tell you this you know when I need rabbit he's there and the man works hard and I am definitely definitely grateful for all of the help that he he gives me and He's always there when I need him, so... Man, I greatly appreciate you, man. I'm always going to be there when you need me, Joe. And I'm not getting high. And I think you should know that. You know, I'm going behind. Um, and I'll take a piss test anytime you want to give me one. Well, you know what? I'm about to whip... tell you what. Never mind. Whoop this bitch around, mother... <laughs> well, you might have to cut that, but yeah. Anyway, uh, anytime you want to give me one, I'll take one. And now, I'm going to tell you this. I'm getting ready to start charging for my piss test. All right? Because every one of them is clean. Every one of them is going to be clean. So, y'all want me to take a piss test? Hundred dollars a pop. Send me the money. You heard the man. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. It's been a hell of a long day out here in the heat. Muffler fell off the truck first thing this morning. Thought that was gonna be an omen of things to come. Got over to the flip house. Didn't film it. But as soon as I started up the zero turn, it was smoking super bad definitely was burning some oil don't know what that's coming from haven't had that thing serviced since i bought it and them blades definitely need to be sharpened so i say this every time we get done cutting that grass i'm gonna get that damn thing serviced i gotta get this thing serviced cut grass did some painting got a bunch of stuff done between two different houses three different houses and overall it was a super productive day. An awesome day, brother. We did a magnitude of work today. And uh, I'm greatly appreciated that you continuously told me the work that you had. Well, I appreciate you being there, Rabbit. 
and we're gonna stop at 7-Eleven. I'm gonna get you some money. That sounds good. Definitely gonna pay this man well. Give you 140 bucks for the day. How's that? I mean, I can't complain one bit about what you give me, Joe, because uh, you look out, you look out so much that you know I'm I'm pretty stoked about the way you've been taking care of things, Joe. You've been doing a damn good job. Well, damn good job. I thought that was a cop right there. I did too, man. It looked like a cop in it with a black uniform on. But anyway, yeah, I greatly appreciate everything that you've done for me, Joe. You know, and uh, I can certainly use the money. You know, I'm trying to get a little saving started, man. I've got some uh, irons in the fire. Good things coming. So I'm working hard. Shout out to Rabbit. Shout out to all of you. That's it for today. And we'll see where tomorrow will take us. Have a great one.